This is an issue that has touched my heart because I have family and friends and people that I care about deeply that are affected seriously by this problem. And it all starts with a word that I think everybody has some sort of awful connotation with, and that's cancer. Last month was October, which was Breast Cancer Awareness Month. When I see the color pink, and it's October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, automatically my thoughts go to the powerful and strong people that I know who have fought or are continuing to fight this abominable disease. And for that purpose, for the awareness, for the ability to put these people, put this disease out into the public, I am immensely thankful towards the Susan G. Komen Foundation Fight for the Cure. However, I do have a problem with this foundation because it has been around for the last some 30 some years and we have not found a cure. And while other diseases are making great medical advancements, we're finding that the fatalities are going down. However, cancer fatalities have not significantly changed since 1970. And so I wonder, why is this still an issue? And furthermore, if this is still an issue, why is this foundation still raking in billions of dollars from, from well-meaning, sincere people who want to see their money used for good? I find myself annoyed that this multi-billion dollar marketing campaign, which claims to be looking for a cure, has not done significant research. I also find it annoying that not once has alternative medicine or natural, natural means such as diet change or taking supplements or any sort of uh, realm to preventative cancer or fighting cancer with nutrition or with alternative means has, none of that has been addressed by Susan G. Komen Foundation. Only Western medicine, chemotherapy, radiation has been addressed by them. Once again, I will admit that their foundation has done a great job of raising awareness. And I believe that there are good people in this organization. I believe that there are good people who support this organization, sincere people. However, when you look at the, the money trail and when you look at what they've done for the last 30 years, my first instinct is to say, we need to stop giving money to this organization. And furthermore, when they talk about people living longer due to cancer cures or, or cancer medical advancements, it's usually in terms of months, not years. And typically that's because di cancer is diagnosed earlier on, which tells me that they are doing a great job of diagnosing cancer earlier on, but they're doing absolutely nothing in preventing fatalities or preventing the lifestyle that is is completely wrecked, the quality of life that goes completely out the window when chemo and radiation is put on these people. This foundation brought in $439 million in, the, in 2011 and hundreds of thousands of million dollars in years gone by, and yet a significant amount of that money is not used for the medical research. In fact, 20% of the money of the annual revenue is used for research, and only 50% of that 20% is used for things like causation or, or survivorship or, or biological research. In addition, their money never goes toward alternative research, but only to grants to further pharmaceutical research and established Western medicine. The established Western medicine that has not been making advancements that it should. I looked up the last few Susan G. Komen annual reports and I found that 11% goes toward administrative costs, with their top employees earning $400,000 to $550,000 a year. That's a lot of money for a charitable, nonprofit organization. Furthermore, the rest of their money goes toward things like public health education, health screening services, and treatment. Now, all of those sound respectable, but here's the problem. Anything pink or anything having to do with the Susan G. Komen Foundation or educating people on the foundation or about breast cancer has to do with public health education. And that umbrella covers part of marketing. And that's the majority of their money, which goes to public health education, aka marketing. So the other two branches are health screening services and treatment. But this does not align with the focus of finding a cure. In fact, health screening services and treatment only subsidizes the very industry that stands to gain from finding cancer patients, which does not help find a cure, it only continues the cycle. 
This is a quote from nat naturalnews.com. It says, the Coleman Foundation owns stock in General Electric, one of the largest makers of mammogram machines in the world. It also owns stock in several pharmaceutical companies, including AstraZeneca, now as Knoebel. The organization's biggest sponsors are, surprise, the corporations that profit from cancer through chemotherapy and radiation. The money trail speaks volumes. This multi-billion dollar organization has done a fantastic job marketing their product at the expense of well-meaning and sincere people. You see, money drives people more than we would ever want to actually admit. And I can't help but wonder that if we were to actually research and address the alternative measures and the individualized programs that many doctors around the world are putting together to cure cancer or to at least establish a sort of quality of life for cancer patients, if those were to be addressed and accepted, the business of charity would no longer need to exist. Are they really searching for a cure when a cure would in fact put this organization, this entire foundation out of business? The articles and research on this on this issue are extensive and I and I would just encourage you to look it up yourself and to really dig deep and to not just take my word for it but really research and and consider it with an open mind and a true heart and just consider what you're actually giving your money to when you donate a dollar or when you buy something pink because I would stand to reason that this foundation is not doing what it says it's doing is not finding the cure that I believe is out there and I believe we can we can help people and give people the quality of life they deserve if we could just put our money where it's being used correctly. Try to research the foundations you're giving to before you just give it give your money away and pin a pink ribbon on your car and think that you're funding something worthwhile. So at least look into it and if anything, take this month or take the month of October and use the opportunity to pray extra. Use this pink washing, even though it's for an organization I do not support, use it to do something good for God and to pray extra for those people who are dealing with this and to research on your own and study on your own so that you can be a light for those around you.